Hello my dear PCS candidates, this is Dr. Costa and in this video I am going to tell you about top 5 mistakes that the candidates do during the tensed exam situation. The number one mistake is not noticing what's around the patient's bed. Due to overwhelming tension during the exam situation, one candidate can become too focused on the patient and may overlook some important and valuable clues located near the bed of the patient. For example, a salbutamol inhaler can be placed on a bedside table or a walking aid can be placed around the room suggesting that the patient may have some gait problem. The second common mistake is not exposing the patient properly for clinical examination. Before exposing a patient, you must always ask for his or her permission. For example, before performing a cardiovascular system examination, you can simply introduce yourself to the patient by telling him that, hello, I'm Dr. Costa, one of the PACES candidates here today, and I have been asked to examine your heart today. Can I have your permission? After obtaining the permission from him, you can simply tell him that at first I am going to look at you carefully from the foot end of the bed. Then I am going to remove your shirt and feel your chest area and after that I am going to listen to your heart sound. With that said, you can start inspecting the patient and around the bed and after finishing the inspection when you would come to the patient to palpate his chest, you can simply tell him that can you please remove your t-shirt. One thing I would like to make very clear that if you examine over the cloth, for example, if you listen to the heart sound like this, placing the diaphragm of the stethoscope over the cloth, then you would surely fail that station. The third common mistake is not showing enough empathy to the patient because the health system of the Indian subcontinent and the countries in the Gulf region are totally different from the health system in NHS. In our country, when a patient is already lying on the bed for the examination, we assume that the patient has already given us the permission and patient already knows that a doctor would come to examine him. But in NHS, it's completely different. You have to introduce yourself to the patient. You have to ask permission for everything. You can never ever touch a patient without his or her permission. You should practice saying sorry and thank you whenever you get the opportunity. For example, if a patient tells you about his or her painful experience, then you should tell him or her that I'm so sorry to know about your condition and when interacting with your patient, use your body language as well. If the patient is in grief or if he or she is crying, then don't smile. At least show him or her that you are also feeling in the same way. When the patient or surrogate is talking, you can slightly incline to the patient to give him or her an impression that you are listening to him or her carefully. When we practice the PACES communication station, we generally overlook the body language part. The body language is almost 50% of the communication. Your body should reflect your words. The fourth common mistake is giving the patient a painful experience. What I mean is if the patient or surrogate specifically mention you that he or she has a tender point in any part of his body then you should try to avoid examine that part but if it is absolutely necessary to examine that part then you should warn the patient beforehand i'm going to gently feel here if you feel any pain or discomfort just let me know i would stop immediately and when you palpate that tender area you should go very gently and look at the patient's face to see any signs of discomfort if you see any signs of discomfort in his or her face then ask the patient 
are you at any pain if at some point due to your improper examination technique patient says ouch it means you have already failed that station the fifth common mistake is to check for corneal reflex and gag reflex during cranial nerve examination normally we do not perform these examinations we simply tell the examiners that I need to check the corneal reflex and gag reflex should I proceed the examiner would most likely say you no you should not lastly I would like to tell you that during the abdominal system examination ideally the patient should be lying completely flat in supine position but if due to any reason your patient is not lying completely flat then you should tell the patient to lie in supine position or you should adjust the bed to make it completely flat during my PCS examination the patient was in 30 degree reclined position and i told the examiner that the patient is not in the ideal position for abdomen examination should i adjust the bed the main thing is if you are confused about something during the examination or if you have a question during the exam then you can ask the examiner and he would help you please let me know in the comment section if you have any queries about paces and please hit the subscribe button and bell icon if you have got any value from this video